to Happiness Sparkles. Um, I'm here again uh, at the end of the week to share with you uh, the fragrances that I wore um, throughout the past week. So this was a brilliant idea uh, that Veronica says, uh, and I'm going to link her channel down below, and she came up with this great idea to do a fragrance of the week and uh, to give it a rate of one to 10 and then all the different awards that you might give that fragrance for uh, performance and that sort of thing. So um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. This is something that we have been enjoying doing over the last couple of weeks. And uh, as I say, I will link Veronica's channel down below because this was her idea and we'd love to see our fragrance community jump on the uh, on the wagon and start doing this as well. It is a great idea to rotate your fragrances and not to mention it's also a great idea to let the people out there who don't have a fragrance channel and those who do have a fragrance channel uh, give them an idea of um, you know how these fragrances perform and you know you get a whole bunch of them well seven all together uh, in one video. So it's it's just a great opportunity to share your thoughts on them. And these are my thoughts, of course, and you know, everyone has different tastes and you know, what's your cup of tea may not be my cup of tea. So um, anyway, let's get started. And we're going to start with the fragrance that I wore last Sunday. And it was Prada de Iris. Um, this is a beautiful, gorgeous Iris fragrance. It's powdery. It's it's just a, uh, a stunning fragrance that I have recently added to my collection. And I'm actually going to include the notes in the video somewhere up here in the corner. So um, yeah, that was my first one. And again, it's a beautiful fragrance. I find it's very versatile. It's been around a long time and it, I pretty much could wear that any time of the year. Uh, then moving on to Monday, uh, my choice was Insolence by Guerlain which is a beautiful a vi a violet fragrance, powdery, um, that performs better in the springtime, the fall time, and the winter. And I'll include the notes up above. This smells straight up like Parma Violets, which is a, um, a candy that I ate as a child. And this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful fragrance. So then Tuesday, I wore Scandal, Scandal by Jean-Paul Scandal A Paris by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Um, I uh, wore on Wednesday, um, as did Nora. Can't remember what day she came, but she chose that one. But I did wear it all day on Wednesday. And I think she wore it on Thursday. I, I can't remember. But anyway, that was her choice. And um, that was my choice for Wednesday. Thursday, I wore actually... Um, Black, uh, black opium and then Friday I will wore <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana the one and um, I'm going to insert a video in here somewhere uh, where Heather and I went out for the day and this was the fragrance I chose to wear going out with Heather and then today is Saturday and I'm wearing C by Giorgio Armani and as you can see, that bottle is almost finished. I'm not sure if I'm going to replace it again, but I think I will eventually because it is one of my favorites. But I have now replaced it with other favorites that I want to get more use out of. And then down the road, I probably will. I probably will replace that one again because it's just such a classic fragrance. So first of all, we're going to rate uh, from one to ten. And starting with Prada, I'm going to give Prada a good solid, a good solid, hmm, nine and a half. She's really one of my favorites right now. Um, I'm going to give Insolence by Guerlain. Um, I'm going to give her a good nine, good solid nine uh, as a rating. These are all just being rated, these the, the rewards come next. Anywho, moving on to Scandal, and um, I'm gonna give Scandal a Paris a good eight. 
Ariana Grande gets a good solid eight and a half. Opium, black opium um, is a work in progress. So I'm gonna give her probably a seven and a half. Um, some days I like her, some days I don't. It's just, I think it depends on the temperature, my mood, and if I can smell the patchouli on that particular day. So um, this time she did quite well, but she's just definitely a seven. Uh, Dolce and Gabbana, I would give probably, you know what, cause she is, she's just, she's just one, the one, <laughs> uh, no pun intended, but she's just the one that has been around for many, many years. And I still go back to her. Um, and as you can see, the bottle is probably halfway down. It's more than halfway down. Look, look guys. So I will prob I will definitely be replacing that bottle. And uh, she gets a 10. She gets a 10 out of 10, no matter when I use her. Uh, she's just my diehard go-to. C also gets um, like a nine and three quarters. So uh, that's the ratings of the fragrances. Moving on to the rewards. And the first reward is which one is the best projection? Um, best projection in this group of fragrances is going to have to be, and I know there are others here that could get this reward, but I'm going to give it to Scandal A Paris because I wore that last summer and I walked into a garden and before I hit, oh, easily seven feet away or eight feet away, uh, one of the girls said to me, oh my goodness, you smell amazing, Francis. So, so projection, um, and probably sillage for that one too, because once it hits the wind and you know you you walk through that garden, it just leaves a trail behind you. So I was surprised about about the projection on the sillage on that one. So we've covered that. <laughs> so the next one is the most comforting. Well, you know what? That is an easy peasy Ariana Grande cloud. That is the most comforting. I wear that night day. I wear that to bed. It's just amazing. Most alluring, most alluring is, I in this group, I would say C. C is probably the most alluring. Interesting, the most interesting fragrance here to me would be Insolence by Guerlain. It's just such a, I don't know, it's just such a great, interesting, um, different fragrance. It's not for everyone because it's straight up violets. There are other notes in there, but it this smells like a, like violets, candied violets. Um, an everyday fragrance has got to be, that's a toss up. I'm gonna give that reward to Prada. You can wear that any day, any season. Special occasion, uh, special occasion, oh gosh, I don't, mm, special occasion Dolce & Gabbana. I'm gonna give it, give it to that one. Um, the most giftable one here, uh, I would say um, most giftable and the easiest blind buy go in the same category as far as I'm concerned. And that's going to be a, a cloud by Ariana Grande. Everyone who smells that on me loves it. In fact, um, the day when Nora's mother, when Nora's mom came to pick her up, uh, she said to Nora, wow, you smell amazing. And I said, it's the cloud by Ariana Grande. So I went and got it. And uh, she said, I really like that. So um, yeah, I'm going to keep an eye out if that goes on sale because it's still pricey for a celebrity fragrance in Canada. It sells for around $60 plus tax. And then, you know, whether you get it for free shipping or not. So it's not a cheap fragrance. So that's the most, um, that's the most giftable on blind buy. Best bottle overall here. Oh, wow. If this one had the top, to it, which is like a flower, like a beautiful big flower top on it. If if it had that on it, then that is the best bottle. That is the most stunning bottle and they don't make it in that bottle anymore. So you either love that bottle or you hate it. But with that beautiful little top on it, it's gorgeous. And runner up for that one has got to be the Jean-Paul Gaultier with the legs sticking up in the air. Um, so best fragrance overall. Which one do I pick? 
and this is um and this is just my my opinion of which one here is my overall favorite and um i'm and that that goes for like as we speak at this moment so next month it's it, it could change um and it's going to be prada prada and that was not a blind buy i bought that small bottle because it was really pricey and I couldn't find it on sale. And even this little tiny, is it 30 mil? It's not even a 50 mil bottle. It's a 30 mil bottle. That little bottle was, I think, $50. So um, I'm going to pick that one as, as overall, just, just the most memorable fragrance of my week. So I hope you enjoyed this, guys. I wanted to keep it as short as possible. And that's why I'm not going into all the notes. I will link them above. And um, yeah, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoyed uh, my fragrance of the week. So we're I'm going to do a little quick video for the fragrances for next week, and this is going to be extremely interesting. So hang fire, and uh, I will set them all up for you instantaneously. Okay, guys. I just randomly set these up. Uh, we've got quite a selection, quite a different selection and a few in there that I have not used very much in a while. Well, one I haven't used in a while and it's that little puppy back there and it's, um, it's Flowers by Kenzo. So she's getting a last kick at the can guys <laughs> and we know what that means. We all know that. We know what that means in the fragrance community. So here we go, moving along to tomorrow. Which one am I gonna to wear tomorrow? I am going to wear, so I'm going to start off, and I have not given this a full test yet. I haven't given either of them a full test. And it's uh, uh, Alexdas, Alex Das. and this is, the, um, this is the regular one, not the Rose Absolute, so this is, Alex Stas, which was created in 2015. It's an oriental floral. So I'm going to be using that one tomorrow. And Nora's here tonight, so she'll also be getting to test it out for the first time. So that is Sunday's lineup. Monday, I'm going to be using my Solel, um, Lalique Solel. Tuesday is going to be Oscar de la Rente Bella Rosa. Third, okay, so Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, count the days properly, I'm going to be giving this little girl a beautiful debut into the world and uh, like a full on review, full day review. And this is Penhaligon's Elenicia, and she's just beautiful. So I'm going to be giving her. Um, the debut into this world. And then Thursday is going to be my um, Le Estas uh, Rose Absolute by Nina Ricci. So that'll be Thursday. Friday is going to be my, um, yeah, my brain's just kind of slow at kicking off today. Do you get days like that? I get lots of days like that, guys. Uh, that's the uh, Kenzo, uh, Flowers by Kenzo. I got it. I finally spit it out. And then Saturday is going to be Lalique by Lalique. And I'm not loving this. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm not loving it. Um, the reason why it has a dent in it is because I did a decant and I sent that decant to Gabby because I wanted her to compare it to, um, what's the name of it? What's the name? Um, I can't remember the name, but anyway, someone had said on Fragrantica, Fragrantica, is it, you know, the website where you can go and, and check out what people talk about. They had said it, it was very, had a, like a slight, uh, slight tinge of, um, organza, is it? Anyway, I'll link it down below, guys, whenever I'm, like, my brain kicks into action again. So, uh, yeah, not loving it. It's quite vintage smelling. Um, it's got a quite a dirty jasmine in there, and I love jasmine, but mm, this jasmine is really dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> Anywho, guys, there you go. That's the lineup for next week, and I think this is going to be an exciting week of fragrances.
in my opinion. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all uh, next week. I'll be popping in and out. So love you all to bits. And if you're new here, please like and subscribe. I'm a quirky 67 year old woman who loves doing YouTube and you know, I get to giveaways from time to time. And in fact, as we're on the subject of a giveaway, let's do a giveaway today. <laughs> and I just, that just popped into my brain to be quite honest. Um, I do uh, usually do a giveaway of, um, of a Nora Knits hat and I'll link that down below. And uh, Nora Knits is a company that I created when my granddaughter was born and uh, I, I knit hats and they're all over the world now and they're very popular and they're very beautiful. And so I, um, yeah, so if you have watched till now, then why don't you give me a beautiful blue heart? Just fill up the comment section with blue hearts and I will enter you into the giveaway for a Nora Knits hat. Thank you all for watching guys. And as I always say, don't let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Mwah! Say hi. Yeah. Hi. Hi everybody. A small definitely won't fit. Tell them how long it's been since we've been out. How long has it been? Before Christmas. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. I just realized now. I was like, when's the last time we were outside? Yeah. And we are in winners. <gasps> yeah. Bye. Underwear. Undies. Undies. I missed my girl. I missed my girl. <laughs> Did you miss your mama? I miss my mama. Oh. That was really big. I never had too big. And it's called what? Mocho? Mocho burrito. Mocho de burrito. That's the reason I go to the gym. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it good? Is it really good? Mm -hmm. <laughs>